What's up guys, Scotty here from the Blue Coconut Family and welcome back to another Skylines Cargo within City Skylines. And the last two episodes we today we were looking at ships, uh, but we're going to be looking at the cargo hubs and uh, of the cargo harbour. This is uh, part of a, a part of the After Dark DLC, uh, so you have to have that DLC to unlock this. Um, and also unlocks at Colossal City, uh, so it's a much higher level you must have if you're playing this through properly. Um, it is uh, 90,000 to buy as a down payment and has uh, 2,400 to maintain a week, so it's very expensive. But it has the added benefit uh, that not only can you process more, um, it does it does a it processes more, but it doesn't give uh, any more details on how much more. But it also has a rail link, so uh, if you you can use this in conjunction with your uh, cargo um, depots of your train terminals. Um, so you can load up your trains across your city, uh, as well as trucks as well. Uh, it does also still have that rail, uh, that road link, um, but it also has the rail link so that you can load up your trains across your city to then bring back to your cargo hub to then put into a ship to then send um, out to either an external connection, um, so you can export it out of your city region, or you can export it to another either cargo harbour or cargo hub. If you are using like an islands map or you know, you've got a large city where you've got different ports and things, you can use those by all means. So let's have a look at this. You can find this under your transport tab in the shipping section and you can find it here. This is the cargo hub. So as I said, yeah, 2,400 a week and 90,000 is down payment. It has a high noise pollution, so don't put it anywhere near residential areas. Uh, and yeah, it is very cool. So you can see here that it must be once again placed within proximity of your shipping lane. Uh, so I've had to place it on this far side of the island as I couldn't place it around this corner, which was quite sad because it can't see the shipping lane. I could place it there, I suppose, but that means crossing it. So I placed it here quite far out of the way, but that's okay. So once you place it, let's have a look at this. So you can already see it's a lot longer and a lot larger than the original cargo harbour. Uh, it still requires power and water, so I did bring over a water pipe. Uh, I just need to bring over some power. That shouldn't be an issue. got plenty of power in the city. Power in the city. Ooh, a bit glitchy, but that's okay. There we go. Uh, so it's a lot larger than the cargo harbour um, by being slightly longer, but it also has the benefit of these rail uh, lines here and the road link here. So once again the road is only two lane but I explained the traffic of that in the last video. So let's link it up to the um, infrastructure. So let's link up to that and then let's also link up the rail link. Now the rail link is quite weird because it has to be kind of connected up to this bit so your first bit will be kind of like on like a like a bridge as such it's quite weird so it takes a while to get used to that uh, and requires a little bit of, kind of engineering to make it look kind of normal uh, I suppose if you have time you can make you know use props and stuff to build up a maybe a key side or something um, and that could look really nice uh, but for tutorial purposes I'll leave it like that so once you've connected up, that is it, it is operating as normal. And similar to the cargo harbour, you're waiting for two things. Either you're waiting for enough goods to be imported that a ship will appear on your shipping lane and will then come into your cargo harbour and then it will split and then that cargo will be either split between road or rail to be sent around your city depending on where it's going and if you've got enough connections of it inside your city. The other thing you're either waiting on is goods to be coming into your cargo hub. So this can be either via the rail link, uh, which I don't think there is anything coming at the moment, or via your road link, which I can already see there is plenty of goods coming via the road link. Uh, so once they have all started coming in via a road link, here we go, first couple coming in. And once once the um, once it is built up enough um, of imports, uh, sorry, exports from your um, road and rail links, uh, then it will generate a ship in its port. It won't have to wait for one to come in to export. It will just generate one inside its little kind of water at the front. 
and it will send it out to the rest of the world. And that's pretty much it. Remember, these are very useful for exporting and they also transport around your city. I think I've pretty much covered everything. Um, if there's anything I've forgotten, put it in the comment section below and I'll remember to try and clear it up when we look at that in the future. But yes, I think that's pretty good. You know, big thumbs up for um, the cargo hub. The cargo hub. You know, if you if you like ships and trains, give it a big thumbs up. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like as well. Uh, remember, I've done a couple of these videos looking at um, cargo within your city, um, so it's been quite useful. Um, so go check those out. Remember to subscribe. I've been Scully from the Blue Coconut Family. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.